Southern Nevada hit with a 2.5 magnitude earthquake just northeast of Las Vegas. And according to Nevada Seismology, the epicenter was in North Las Vegas. Residents from North Las Vegas actually called into our station telling us they felt the shaking from the tremor. And according to the USGS, they say that the depth was 11.9 kilometers. And Kevin Janison is pinpointing exactly where that quake hit tonight in the valley. Yeah, that's pretty shallow, less than seven miles deep. And that's why it really wasn't felt in Henderson, but areas around Craig Ranch, they felt it big time. Check out the map. This is unusual. And of course, 2.5 is a pretty small quake. But when it's not that deep, it certainly is going to give people a jolt, especially in those neighborhoods near the Craig Ranch Regional Park. So there you go, right in the middle of the valley. Again, kind of a little guy quake, but look at what some of the people said who felt it pretty wild out there. The sharp jolt shook the house hard. That was at Ann and Commerce in North Las Vegas. I thought it was an explosion. Also, we heard it felt they felt it on uh, North 5th and Washburn. It felt like a freight train going right through the house. A couple more too from some of the folks who responded on social media. My daughter definitely felt it upstairs, but downstairs we didn't feel a thing. That's pretty common because the upstairs will have more shaking or if you're lying down, you'll be more sensitive to the shaking and not a quick jolt here by any means. It felt like a massive bass cranked under the house. I'm assuming they mean bass like uh, the music, like a speaker. Pressure and sound was very strange. So a lot of people who might be new to Las Vegas and Nevada might not realize that Nevada is one of the most seismically active states in the country. Right. It's Alaska, California, and then Nevada, Hawaii, and Oklahoma because the fracking is right there too. That's right. That is very, very true. And in fact, I spoke tonight from somebody up at UNR and he told me that you really don't realize it, but Nevada is actually the third most seismic state. And I spoke with Graham tonight. Um, he is Graham Kent from the director of the Nevada Seismology Laboratory up in UNR. And I talked to him about earthquake activity right here in the Silver State. You mentioned that we could see much bigger earthquakes in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, tonight was a good reminder that you can have earthquakes in Las Vegas. It happened to be a magnitude 2.4, but it was right underneath North Las Vegas. So uh, a number of people felt it, right? But you might expect in that region magnitude up to about six and a half. So again, 2.4, six and a half, that's a lot, a lot different earthquake. There's a whole bunch of faults in and around the greater Las Vegas area. And it's just a matter of time before one of them steps up and you have a magnitude six, six and a half, or maybe even a 7.6, 7.7 over to the E to the West. So. And Graham says all Nevadans should be familiar with earthquake drills like drop, cover, and hold on. He suggests having an earthquake preparedness plan with your family, plus a three-day supply of food and water, and consider earthquake insurance for your home.